I'm getting some new equipment for my videos and one of the things is going to be a lavalier mic so my audio is going to be a much better quality and another one is lighting. See how like right here I'm dark and here I'm light and we're not, this is hideous fluorescent lighting which is a, fluorescent is a four letter F word. I think it has four uh, letters the, um, in my business. Only if you abbreviate it. That's only if you abbreviate it. Exactly. So we're kind of playing around with equipment. I'm also getting a new camera. I'm getting the Canon uh, 60D. Canon 60D. So um, you're going to see some changes on my YouTube channel here real soon. It's very exciting. All right, you, so he's showing me how did, to put this together. I, sign I think this is actually a good video for any of the, the YouTubers that make videos on a regular basis. I think a lot of us, when we get to a certain point, our channels are big enough, we've become partner, we want to know, you know, how do we light ourselves up appropriately? And I've been to a bunch of places in San Diego, and I found this place who really specializes in video makes sense to me, right, that that would be where you'd go. So here I am, and he's going to show us, and now you're going to get to see kind of behind the scenes what it takes to light yourself up appropriately, okay? So we're, tell me, Randy. We're actually going to turn turn the camera off for a second, and we're going to make the set a little bit more um, user-friendly. Thank I'm gonna you very much. going to move the thing behind you, much. and then when we come back on, we will have lights on. Yay. Okay, so watch. You're okay. going to see the difference. You see it with a plain backdrop now without all the distractions. And you're going to get to see it in a second with the lighting on. That's a, a, a key light. Actually, that's a fill light, and this is now a key light. key light. A key light is about twice as bright as the fill light. Gives you a little contrast, a little bit of fall off on the right-hand side of your face there. Okay. And is this the one that's supposed to make me look tanner? Because <laughs> I don't feel very tan. <laughs> and are these already up to the, because the, they're fluorescent, right? They're fluorescent, and they will fluorescent. warm up just a little bit, but they're not your typical overhead type fluorescent. They are color temperature regulated to, be, to simulate daylight. Okay. Okay. So is this it? This is, this is, this this is, is it. it. This okay, is so a, if I come closer to the camera, I'll go down a little bit. That's what I would look like I in, tilt up a in the camera. You can stand up. Sorry. So you guys can see if you think that helps compared to if I'm talking to you. Okay, can you turn them off? Uh, one at a time. That's, oh my gosh, what a difference. That's the way you normally see me when I'm talking. Or I put a, you know, naked bulb lamp in front of me to try to get light on my face because the back is lit up in my house or something mm -hmm. and then I look like really harsh so boy that's a big difference isn't it now um, Randy would you take the camera and revolve it so they can see what these lights actually look like okay well let's just do okay. one more all right without the light with the light and see how her eyes just jump out at you now those beautiful blue eyes ah! Oh, I'm trying to be nice now. <laughs> he wants me to spend more money. Can't help myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you think? Okay, so can we rotate the camera so that they can see what these lights look like? Uh, the problem is differentiating between all the other stands. <laughs> That's true. There's okay, here, one. I'll stand behind it. Oh, okay. Except I'm wearing black. And now it just blends right into your <laughs> outfit, but that's okay. All right. So this is cool, this, huh? This could potentially be a light that I get to fill in the left side of my face, or what you saw is the right side. Yes. And then, let's see what the other one looks like. Okay, now this is the second, this is the, actually the fill light. We were using this as a fill light because the key light was a little bit brighter. And here's the stand in our messy showroom here. <laughs> Uh, and how much does that one run, Randy? That one's two twenty-five. I think you see this kind of thing. It's is this a soft box? That is a soft box. Okay, you see this a lot in other um, YouTuber videos, guys that you know are big, like What the Buck, Michael Buckley. He has these kinds of lights. I think uh, Juicy Star Seven has these kinds of lights. I know I do too. I'm just saying. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you what it's like if I have those two lights on that I just had on a minute ago, but we're going to add a third light, a fill light. And I'm doing this because I actually asked about it. Um, it's when I, It's called a hair light or a kicker. kicker. 
Okay, so here's the two now. Don't do it yet, Randy. Let me explain. I was watching a YouTube on how to light yourself if you're doing video. And what they said was to do three-point lighting system, and there was a kit you could buy, and it was relatively affordable. And he explained the, the brighter light, the softer light, and then the hair light. So I wanted to see what that looks like. Now, Randy says it's, it's a bit more work and maybe not worth it, but let's see what you think and see what I think. Okay? Go ahead, Randy. Okay, so that's adding the hair light. Gosh, that... <laughs> Talk about highlights in your hair. <laughs> right, right. We're going to take it away again and add it again just for... Okay. Now, if I walk closer, is that is that hair light still, or that backlight still working? Oh, yeah. Do it again. What do you think? I think it is. I mean, do you think it's worth it? I know it is. <laughs> Duh, I can see. <laughs> well, the question is, is it worth $250 to you? I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it worth $250 to have my hair lit? I mean, I do have some nice hair, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's the highlights that are really nice. I'm just thinking, yeah, you know. I mean, when you stop to think of what I pay to get my hair done every three weeks, $250 is nothing. Yeah, yeah, because well, I, I pay about that much myself. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Okay. Okay, right, so we so, don't have that on now, but that would be an option. So okay. it's I, to me, it's really pretty interesting to see how the different lighting works and how this is going to translate into my home or into a job site. Like when I'm doing um, installs and stuff, I'm not going to be able to do lighting, obviously. It's just too much to bring with me and everything else. And I can imagine my clients walking into the reveal of their home and you got this whole <laughs> video camera on it. <laughs> on a rolling tripod and all these lights, that's not going to work. But when I do things in my home and I'm, you know, giving, teaching you guys tutorials and stuff, I'm going to be using this lighting. So we'll see if it's worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was informative and uh, I guess you're going to get to see what I end up buying, right? All right. See you next time.